Hello and welcome. Today's practice is going to be a bit of legs, a bit of spine, a bit of arms, so a little bit of everything. Um, and you're basically just going to want a blanket that you can sit on and a strap just to help with a little bit of the leg stuff. If this is your first time here, my name is Heather and I teach people how to move in ways that can help their bodies thrive. So when you're ready, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start sitting tall, sitting just at the front edge of that blanket in easy seat. So a cross-legged position, hands are resting on the knees, spine is tall and long and sending energy up through the top of the head. And you're just gonna come to your breath here. <clears throat> Feeling the belly expand as you breathe in and fill it with air and retract as you gently pull that navel towards your spine and exhale. You can open your eyes and you can find your strap. We're gonna start off by sending the legs out straight in front, still sitting on the front edge of that blanket. You can place the strap around the balls of your feet if you want to. We're going to sit tall, hinge at the hips, and come into a little bit of a forward fold. So we're keeping the spine straight for as long as we can, feeling that lengthening happening down the back line of the leg. You can use the strap just to create that connection between your upper body and your lower body. So you're just gonna take some breaths here, just keeping that nice neutral spine here for now. And in a few breaths, we will just let it go and let the back curve. But for now, we're just seeing what kind of movement is available at the hips. The goal is not to touch the toes necessarily. All right, and on your next exhale, you can just let your back relax, let this head start to hang, let the legs relax and flop out if that's what they're gonna do. All right, you can start to lift your head, walk your hands up your legs and return to your upright seated position. You can move the strap out of the way and we're gonna bring the feet in so that the, toe, the feet, the soles of the feet are touching and we're letting those legs open up out to the side. So we're coming into a butterfly leg position here. You can grasp around your ankles, just watch how the knees are feeling. If, if you're feeling pressure or gapping in the knees, let the knees come up a little bit. With a tall spine, once again, we're just gonna start to send our body forward over those legs. You can take some nice breaths here. And you can use your hands to bring yourself back upright, lifting the knees and sending them out in front again. We're gonna scoot forward, get this blanket out of the way. Coming onto the back, knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor, lifting the right foot away from the ground, rotating the thigh in the hip joint, lowering that right ankle to the left knee. Now you can take your strap here and you can loop it around the back of your left thigh so that you can bring your legs towards you without having to grasp around the back of the thigh. This means that your 
arms, your shoulders, your upper back, and your head can remain resting on the floor while you're in this reclined pigeon position. So we'll just hold this for a couple breaths. Letting the tension leave your neck and your face, your jaw. Exhaling as you lower that foot to the floor. This is a great opportunity to get the strap around the right thigh while it's right here. Lift the right ankle from the left knee, lower that foot back to the floor and switch legs. Left leg lifts the, from the floor, rotates at the hip, left ankle to right knee. You can bring those legs in towards your body Holding that stretch there, but keeping your back, shoulders, and head on the floor. Relaxing tension through the shoulders, neck, and jaw. And feeling that stretch through that outer back, thigh, and glute. Lowering that right foot to the floor, lifting the left foot and placing it back down on the ground and you can set the strap aside. We're going to bring the knees in towards the chest. Arms can be stretched out to either side, exhaling as you lower both knees to the right hand side. And just rest here for a few breaths. Noticing if your left shoulder has lifted or if it stayed on the floor. Noticing how it feels to breathe with your ribs in this twisted position. Inhale, lifting the left leg. Right starts to follow, passing through center. Exhaling as you twist your legs to the other side. Settling in on the left. Inhaling as you lift that right knee up, left starts to follow. Place the feet back on the floor and just settle back into a neutral spine for a moment and take a moment here. You can bring your knees in towards your chest again, cross your ankles and start to rock yourself back and forth and come up to a seated position. We are gonna come back to the front edge of the blanket here and sit in a wide-legged seat. So find the width that's comfortable for you. You want to still be able to sit upright. You don't want your low back starting to curve back. We're gonna inhale the right arm up, left hand match reaches for the floor, exhaling as you side bend to the left, keeping that right bum cheek grounded to the floor, chest is open to the front of the room. We're not curling in forward. Inhale as you come back up through center. Exhale as you send the left arm to the right hand side, grounding through that left hip. Inhale back up through center. Exhale the right arm over to the left. We're gonna hold it here for a couple breaths.
Inhale back up through center. Coming over to the right, holding it here for a couple breaths. Come back up through center. Okay, you can bring the feet back in and we're gonna get ourselves into a child's pose position. Whether you like the thighs together or the wide-legged knees apart, toes touching in the back, options for the leg, either is fine. You're going to reach out forward, lowering that forehead to the floor and just let your body relax. And start to lift your forehead from the floor. Walk your hands up the mat and you can get yourself set up for a Shavasana corpse pose, which is how we're gonna end today's practice. And let the ground just fully support the weight of your body. Come back to your breath. Settle into your body and just notice what this practice has done for you today. Let the tension go through your feet and your legs, your pelvis and your lower back, your neck and shoulders. Let your head be heavy. And let all the tension in your face just relax, soften and fall back. You are welcome to stay here as long as you want to. When you're ready, you're just gonna to start to bring some movement back into your toes and your fingers. Rock your head side to side. Start to flutter your eyes open. You can walk your knees in, your feet in, bringing your knees into a bent position. and you can roll onto your side, cradling your head in your lower arm. Take a nice deep nurturing breath here. And when you're ready, you can use your top hand to help yourself up to sit. Coming back to that easy seat.
And just let today's practice settle into your body. Thank you for moving with me today, and I'll see you next time.